assembly the tail is very similar to assembling the wing. We first want to start by building a static charge in our material, and then lining the material up to the pattern below. And we'll very carefully tape the pattern down in the following locations. Start at the center, and we'll go down to each corner. And lastly, here are the two locations shown. And we're going to start by laying half inch tape down the center two sections where you can see here. And cut the tape flush off at the bottom. At this point, those are the only two that we're going to tape. Now we'll be laying in our 9 inch pieces of carbon rod. And we'll seal those in with our half inch pieces of ripstop. Now I'll lay our half inch tape on the outside tape lines. Now we'll lay in our 8 inch pieces of carbon rod. And we'll seal these in with half inch strips of ripstop.
Now that we have these carbon rods in, we're going to remove some of the tape shown here. These are all the pieces of tape along the one inch tab. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a square inch, square edge of our one inch tape. We're going to run it right along that one inch tab all the way to the bottom. Again, cutting flush at the bottom. Now we're going to square off our tape again and repeat for the other side. And now we're going to take our main tail support that we've created earlier down here. And we're going to squeeze the ends in a little bit so that they line up to the inside corners of the one inch tabs. So they're actually inside the one inch. Once we get them in place, we're just going to let the piece snap down and we're just going to seal it into the tape. Now we're going to take our 11 and a half inch piece of carbon rod and we're going to create a bow and place it in as shown here. This will help keep the main supports spread out so that our tail surface remains rigid. Next we're going to take our one inch tab and we're going to very carefully fold it over. Again being very careful to keep things going evenly and slowly so that we don't produce wrinkles. And again, we're using our burnishing tool just to push the tape into the material and seal around all carbon rods that it'll, it'll reach. And now we're going to cut off the excess material from the half-inch strips that we laid before. Again, following the under profile of the tail itself. And now I'll remove the remaining tape holding the piece down. Again, be very careful not to shove the blade into the material as it will cut through it. Now we're going to take our 1 inch by 3 inch pieces of Dacron. And starting with the bottom of the tail up, we're going to place this on the work as shown here. There will be a about an eighth of an inch gap between the black piece at the bottom and the deck on itself. And you'll take your burnishing tool and thoroughly work this around all of the carbon rods, especially here in the corner. And you'll see this tab actually lift up and almost become straight up and down. Now we're going to take that remaining tab and fold it around the work. Next we're going to take our second 1 inch by 3 inch piece and we're going to perform the same operation on the other side.
Again, the tabs fold around. And these tabs, take your burnishing tool and press firmly into the work. And there's a completed tail.